everyone, it is Stephanie here with Infernal TV, and I'm here right now with Stefan of Obscura. So how are you? Hi, everyone. We're here tonight in Florida. We're playing at The Haven in Orlando. Show sold out. Couldn't be better. Everybody's feeling well, and, well, we're looking forward for the show tonight. I do want to discuss that. So the show is sold out, which is amazing. So um, are you excited to play for however many people? I'm not sure what the capacity of the venue, but are you excited to play for a lot of people and have any other shows sold out on this tour? Um, actually, a couple of shows have been sold out. Uh, and the whole track is doing better, way better than expected, but than everybody expected. And I played this venue before, mm -hmm. but this is the very first time it is sold out. So, nice. of course, everybody's looking forward to a full packed show. It doesn't matter how big it is, it's sold out, it's full, and uh, again, we are happy to be here. So. Awesome. So now let's discuss this whole tour. And you mentioned before that it's doing a lot better than you all anticipated. So um, do you think that you'll that the tour will continue to keep doing better or what do you think? Well, the point is we simply didn't know if people are still into Obscura since we haven't been here for roughly seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been, uh, I guess, 2011 when we crossed, especially Florida, the yes. last time. And since then, you never know what is going to happen. If people either are getting into the band since in times of the digital age, um, everybody knows about what we are doing, in case you're a fan. Otherwise, it could also happen that people simply disappear and listen to different genres, different bands, and simply forget about us. So it was more or less a gambling, like how it's going to happen. But in the end, it's, it's better than ever. I mean, the tour is like three, four times better than uh, what we did for uh, Omnivium in 2011 and so far it's, it simply sums up. Like the, the first couple of shows on the tour have been very good, people got excited, then the first shows got sold out and in return people from the later shows are starting to buy their tickets which also returned into sold out shows all over the place and well again it's uh, simply fortunate for everyone. It's not only for us good, but it's also good for all the bands that are on the bill, which is also the reason why this package actually works as it does. It's not only our band, but it's also uh, the four bands we brought, Exist, Inferi, um, Archspire and Beyond Creation, plus here and there a couple of very selected local bands. And that all together sums up if, a, uh, if an evening works or not. And so far, again, the tour is a big <laughs> success. Awesome. And I also, and I did, um, because you mentioned that it's been years since you last played Florida because I was at the show in Tampa and that was and I was trying to remember and it was after Omnivium came out so are you excited to play Florida again after so many years? Well Florida especially Orlando is very special for me since I'm I guess one of the biggest death Jack Schulden fans on this planet yeah. so and we have with Max Phelps and me two singers and guitarists of Death to All in the band so of course it's something special. <laughs> That's awesome. And so, how is it playing new material live? I know is um, Delu uh, Deluvium was just released, uh, you know, over the summer. So this is some of the first shows that you're doing with playing the new material. So overall, how's it been? We only had one big festival in Europe, Summer Breeze Festival, one of the major festivals uh, with like 30, 35,000 people in Europe. We played before. And this is basically the first tour for that record. So mm -hmm. people are more or less aware of the songs. We play all the singles that have been released prior to the record uh, dropped. And uh, well, the response is more than positive so far. Everybody knows the songs. There, there's no difference in uh, like the old evergreens we play every night and the new songs. Right. Nice. So now let's go to discuss uh, Deluvium, and I'll go into more details. Uh, in the next few questions, but overall, I mean, the album's been out for a few months, and everyone's, we're all obscure fans, have been listening to it. So, how has the feedback been? Has have your fans and the critics liked the album, or what do you think now that the album's been out for a while? Well, again, it's more successful than everything we did before. Since um, also what Relapse uh, mentioned, it's the best-selling record we ever did. We uh, got the, the highest chart entries we ever got in Europe as well in the United States well it's just it's just positive we are on a run and uh, well we just enjoy the time we have nice. well, congratulations that's awesome thank you 
And now, I've always wanted to ask you this question. How can you play Obscura material? Because it is so hard, it's so crazy and um, technical. So, like, how often do you have to practice or...? Well, we are, we're not a band that is uh, rehearsing on a regular basis since we also live not in the same city. We are spread uh, throughout um, southern Germany and Austria, actually. We rehearse in Salzburg, Austria. So that means we have to focus on preparing everything at home, like each one at home, and then we meet only a couple of times, select the times to rehearse together. And that's it, it's simply preparation. Nice. All right, that's practice, musician, so then you can play this material. <laughs> so over now with Deluvium, I want to discuss the um, a couple of the songs that um, stood out to me. and. Um, I guess reflecting back on the four album concept that you all um, that you all achieved, um, because I feel like all the different albums they all sound you know they all sound very similar, but they all you know are different in their own ways. So I want to discuss the Deluvium title track, which I think is one of the most unique songs on the album, and I think it really um, embodies the style that you're going for with uh, Deluvium. So how did you? approach that song anything in particular or um i would say the whole album the, the whole album's uh, pro is basically the diversity there's no one song that sounds exactly like the other deluvium i would say is one of the more brutal songs or uh, especially on the rhythmic um and uh, a, a very unique song it's one of the ten songs that are on the record. I'm not sure if the, if it's better or worse than any of the others, but it's definitely one of the more advanced compositions, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to the the rhythmic patterns. Uh, it's a very packed song with a, a strong arrangement and uh, well, a straight chorus line, which also makes us very easy to choose that song for being uh, the title track of the record. Nice. That's interesting. And so um, I do want to go back into you know the four album concept um, because um, they all are very you know similar styles, but they're all very unique. So did you plan for uh, each album to you know have kind of their own styles, but to all connect, or what do you think? When the whole idea came up to make a four album concept, it was not very clear musical in which direction we are going to, but we had a certain path we had to follow in terms of uh, like the visuals, the lyrics, and I guess when Omnivium dropped, we knew exactly how the, the following two records are going to be, like Acrasis was meant to be more a light, a laid back, prog y mm -hmm. indirect record, while Diluvium deals with the ultimate end of all ends, so it has to be straight in your face, right. and that also ends in a certain way you arrange the music and also guitar lines and uh, all vocal layers. So it's, that, let's say this, uh, to sum up uh, and answer your question with a few words, basically there was a path we had to follow, but at the same time we had enough freedom to, well, wipe in everything we have been interested at the time. That also turns out into a couple of new members we had in the band, they also should have their spot on each record. And that's also a reason why the albums sound a little bit different. And so now we're at the last question. You can say anything you want to the fans. You can promote the new album, promote anything else you have coming up. You can take it from here. Hey, we are Obscura from Germany, and well, we are playing in Florida tonight, the capital of death metal in the United States, in my opinion. This is where all the great bands came from. This is where everything started. And well, for us, it's an honor playing here, and especially, well, in front of a sold out audience. <laughs> Awesome, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this interview. Definitely check up Deluvium because it is an awesome album. If Obscura is touring anywhere near you, because I'm sure you're going to be touring the next few years, do you Definitely. think? All right. So uh, in the next couple of years, these guys will be touring. So if they're coming anywhere near you, then check out this show. And hopefully your show will sell out as well. So thank you for watching and stay metal, everyone.